very good morning everyone let's do a quick readability check or any other call that you want to practice you could be the atc you could be the air traffic controller that is or you could be the pilot Sen is not here, but we have Shida, Muskan, Prerit, Rani, and Pratik. So we have two common, uh, two same call signs, Victor Tango, Papa Romeo, Kilo, and Victor Tango, Papa Romeo, Kilo. So I think one of, one of you all have, has to change their call signs. See if you can come up with something proposed on Zoom chat. Otherwise, there will be confusion. Mm, or what we can do is we could make it a hypothetical six letter registration. So in India, we follow five letter codes, but I got flight plan, as we know, has five to seven letter codes. Kaishma, very good morning. Very good morning, everyone. Please let me know if you can hear me on a scale of five or four. Three, two, one, five perfectly readable, four readable, three readable but with difficulty, two readable now and then, and one unreadable. We write the word read where we are talking about listening or hearing. Tanmay, very warm welcome, very good morning. So I'm not hearing any calls. Radio 5, Victor Tango, Oscar, Mike, go. So Radio 5, Victor Tango, Kilo, Alpha, Romeo. Radio 5, Victor Tango, Romeo, Alpha, November. Radio 5, Strength 5. Victor Tango, Mike Sierra Lima. Radio 5, Victor Tango, Sierra, Mike Sierra. Okay. I want everyone to prepare a distress call. And the distress call will be on a flight from the stations I am telling you and on that particular chart. Okay. So the flight plan is a pretty simple flight plan where you are flying Let's say you're flying from Delhi to Nagpur. So that flight is via Jaipur. Okay. Delhi to Nagpur via Jaipur. Check the southbound route. That is your flight plan. Choose your flight level. Choose your call sign. Give yourself a situation. Distress. I can give you a few options. One of you all could take that before departure, that you are parked or you are ready to take ADC clearance or you are on the taxiway. Uh, that moment you could be told that you have received bad weather warning over the Jaipur. Now let me share the chart and make you help you uh, make uh, understand where we are. So this the practice is you have to create that situation and give me a call scenario. We'll quickly discuss that. After that, we'll be doing a mock, a short mock. And I think I'll have to give all the instructions once again because people have just joined. So everybody just 
get ready you all know the departure and arrival students very warm welcome very good morning so we are doing an exercise we are flying from delhi to nagpur via jaipur you have to create a situation and you have to give yourself a distress situation and an example of a distress call the departure arrival will be the same delhi to nagpur via jaipur figure out your route the route uh, will be having the suffix s the route nomenclature routes are alpha numeric the prefix is alpha bravo charlie whatever the alphabet we use the numbers will be read out as individual numbers and the suffix the letters at the end of that particular word those letters could be north east south or west they are not november not sierra right we remember this a simple thing i have seen students asking this doubt one day before exams so that tells me that okay we need a little more clarity on one of the most basic topics that we have so one of the distress situations that you could have could be that before departure you are informed about bad weather over jaipur now before departure informed about bad weather over jaipur is not a distress situation why it is not a distress situation so we remind ourselves about the definition of the distress situation the definition that we have been learning in rt and the definition that we get in the manual of rt issued or published by icao or in the other annexures or docs of icao when we talk about that then the definition changes a little bit but we can focus on the keywords of the definition what are we talking about right now we are talking about we are talking about the definition of distress situation students have just joined in very good morning warm welcome see make it a habit of joining in early you think sir will always give you 5 10 minutes that is not the case we have 5 15 minutes buffer but it's okay very happy to see you all mentally i don't have even one video on but it's fine but i have seen the drawbacks of this certain students they are not if i come across something that i think is affecting please be ready to do as i say okay some students are not following and they are just losing focus because of that because they are not disciplined they are multitasking i can see and that is impacting their learning and the performance in the exam so remember that doesn't happen with you students when your videos are off i'm trusting you all see i talk to you as equals but then i realize that i'm giving the power to people who are not that grown up to handle that power so we need to discipline them for some more time like keep them like under threat honestly speak then we are like okay somebody is observing then we do good work when someone is not observing we do lazy work most of us are like that it only depends where we act like that where we don't act like that in studies i can see half of us unwillingly study even though we are passionate about flying hmm. that's our morning satsang okay remember that students so we have tanmay yes ananya chetanya suchita nukul joining in a little late but fine rani is also here rani very nice to see your passion very good mm prerit has changed his call sign papa romeo tango very nice of you pratik hyphen lagao wahan pe please तन्मय क्या है वन सेवेंटी थ्री क्या चल रहा है आपको मूवी में काम कर रहे हो क्या कैदी नंबर वन सेवन थ्री लग रहा है मुझे हा? क्या कर रहे हो आप एक्टिंग इन द रोल तो स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव नॉट डन द रीडेबिलिटी चेक विथ मी राइट नाउ प्लीज डू इट अन 
Chaitanya, Suchita, Nishant has joined in. Nishant, very good morning. Nukul, readability check. Rani, you have not done it, you have not done it. Om has joined in. Om, readability check quickly. And I'll explain the exercise again. Okay, fada fada exercise karna. After that, we have to do a call. Sridhar, I hope you are ready. Yes, sir. Yes, kya hota hai, Sridhar? Roger, Mumbai Gram. Yes, to Roger nahi hota. Affirm. Print phrase that we use. Students, are you there? Mumbai ground. Victor Tango Sierra Sierra Mike on one two one decimal liner. Pre flight radio check. One two three four five. Five four three two one. How do you read? Mumbai ground. Victor Tango Sierra Sierra Mike. Victor Tango Sierra Sierra Mike. Mumbai ground. Read you. Why? How do you? Read. Read you five. Strength five. Victor Tango Sierra Sierra Mike. Mumbai Crown. Victor Tango November Kilo Charlie. Free flight radio check one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. How do you read? Victor Tango November Kilo Charlie Mumbai. Ground. Read you. Five. Read you. Five. Strength. Five. Victor Tango. November. Kilo. Charlie. Okay, students, I think we had an RCF uh, disconnection, but good to see you all practice some calls. Very nice. Now, understand the situation. The situation is very quick. If no other radio check is done, I am hoping everybody can hear me on 5. Strength 5 is perfectly readable. All right. I hope everybody can hear me. All good. Okay. So, you can see the chart right on the screen. Delhi. To Nagpur via Jaipur. Distress. Distress carries a code number one priority. The code is Mayday said three times. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. The moment any operator transmits Mayday, 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 it is understood that that particular operator, as in the pilot of the particular aircraft, is experiencing an emergency, a situation or a condition. That can be fatal to the aircraft, to the pilots, to the passengers on board. Fatal as in in what way? Now, a small foreign object damage, a small coin can damage the engine of the aircraft. It can damage the windshield. A bird hit can damage the windshield, cause structural damage, can harm the engines. A lot of things from the outside that are not a shortcoming of the airplane in itself can also cause a distress situation. 
what comprises as distress is something that actually can bring the aircraft down within a few matter of seconds we can say if help is not provided what is that situation if i lose the most essential force to maintain flight that force is called thrust if i lose that thrust where am i getting that thrust from i'm getting that thrust, thrust from engines so if i lose my engines i am losing thrust if i am losing thrust an aircraft like 737 or airbus 320 category might not be able to glide to a safe distance depending upon their present altitude and their navigation capacities the navigation capacities will be hampered because or if the electric supply the other power supply to the aircraft is hampered how does that power supply get hampered that power supply is generally generated through the engines once the engines are operational if the engines are not operational that power is generated by Radio one. Those th Mumbai ground, Victor Tango, November Kilo Charlie. Radio losing power will cost us navigation will can cost us radio also why radio because radio systems will also need to be powered how do we power them the backup the auxiliary power units and the main power sources that are actually run by the engines so when you think about a situation where a pilot is unable to navigate properly there are no communications and there is no engine that is the worst kind of situation we could face where the aircraft is still structurally strong, but then doesn't have the flight characteristics to fly or to land. Now, the flight characteristics of an airplane are limited to certain movements only. This much, this much, and maybe this much, and maybe a little bit this much. The aircraft cannot go beyond this blanket. Okay? If my power is not there, the aircraft could go like this, expand its movement beyond that safe blanket and then stall and nobody is going to be able to save us if you can glide like this like this like this like this without engine power if you are able to find and hit the ground it's called force landing it is the best option you could have but for that you need plain area of land spread across across a few square miles and for you to be able to find and go there, you need control surfaces, ailerons, rudders, and elevators. Are, uh, one of the stabilizers is missing. So, for you, force landing can be resulting into a crash also. Crash landing is when you have no control and the aircraft is simply landing on its own in a crash. A crash is simple where the aircraft is not controlled at all. When we think about stall students, it's a serious situation. You will be thought about stall recovery. You will be thought about safe speeds, how to not stall. But then if you lose engine power, a lot of things can go wrong. Okay. So in distress, in your examinations, what are the intent that you could get? Now you compare the distress call in four parts. 
you divide it into four parts. Compare all the parts. First is addressing. How do you address the call and whom do you address it to? You address the call to the ATCs. You say your call sign. The first two Ws are maintained. But the main part of addressing is you use the code. The code is Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. So the addressing part is Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Delhi, Control, Air India, uh, Correction. Victor Tango, Alpha, Lima, Kilo. The second part of the call becomes condition. Condition that you're facing. Condition that I'm facing right now, I could say dual engine failure, lost thrust, aircraft force landing straight ahead. Basic things. Aircraft force landing straight ahead becomes my intent. Condition becomes dual engine failure, lost thrust. Is my electric supply working? Are my radio working? Of course, auxiliary power unit also runs on fuel. It will give me some time. It will work for as long as it can. So that will at least power my air conditioning for some time. And of course, I need hydraulics. If my hydraulics are not working, my aircraft cannot maneuver. So if these controls are not working, the aircraft will be forcedly going down. You cannot do this. You cannot do this. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. You cannot do anything if your hydraulics are gone. So conditions with respect to complete hydraulic failure come in distress because you cannot control the aircraft. But if you have partial hydraulic failure, hydraulic controls are sluggish. The feel is not complete, you know. The movement is half, the pressure is half. That is not distress because you can still control the aircraft little bit, little bit and are able to land it as per your desire, but with a lot of difficulty. Now, that thing where you are able to make a safe landing, but with a lot of precaution, a lot of difficulty, those conditions, 95% or more are under urgency. In distress, the conditions will make you to force land the aircraft most of the time. Not always. When not always, when one of the crew members is incapacitated, unable to perform their duties of a flight crew because maybe they are fainted, maybe they had a stroke or a medical condition or maybe they just lost consciousness for some time or maybe something more fatal. The pilot can control the aircraft, but the aircraft is not designed to be landed by just one person. So that way, again, it becomes distress, although you will be able to land the aircraft as an emergency landing, not a force landing. You will have hydraulics, you will have engine, you'll have everything. So you'll probably call someone to assist you with something that you could guide them. That's why you see everywhere some pilots are asking for someone if anybody knows how to fly in the first place, if some pilot is incapacitated. So that also becomes distress. Everything is realistic. It's not a textbook subject. Your calls have to be realistic. The good thing for you is that the simulations that are mental in the RT exam, their conclusion will always be safe. So that is something that is decided. So you use that logic. Okay, if I have my dual hydraulic failure over Jaipur, like I'm giving you all this situation, I want you all to come up with a situation of distress. Hmm. Now, what will you do in that? You will force landing straight ahead, descending. You are losing altitude. You see clear field ahead and you would want to force land there. Can you manipulate the controls or not? When I say manipulate, it means can you maneuver the aircraft or not? Maneuvering the aircraft means having control over hydraulics, as in having power in hydraulics to move the control surfaces. What are the other situations that can comprise to distress? Fire. Fire on board, you don't have to wait for the aircraft to get damaged completely. Fire on board, emergency landing as far as, uh, as close as you can. As far as it concerns your safety, you will try to execute the fire extinguishing procedures. Engine fire has its own engine fire extinguishing system. Aircraft is also fitted with other fire extinguishing systems that are automatic. Other than that, you have portable fire extinguishers. Smoke detectors detect smoke and raise an alarm so that we can take precaution to prevent from fire from happening or smoke can be detected due to the rise of fire also. We never know. So two things, smoke could be pre-fire, post-fire. But post-fire detection can happen automatic. Pre-fire smoke can also be detected. What could be other emergency situations? Any sort of structural damage can hamper the aerodynamics of the aircraft, make it difficult to control for the pilot 
so the maneuvering and safe landing capacity will be reduced and it could be emergency precautionary or force landing precautionary landing is that you are landing outside of the limitations due to some force emergency forced emergency i hope you are getting these things students if you involve the understanding like this in a call where your language is very good which you all are developing quicker than anyone i have ever seen you know with every lecture that you understand even if it is just one or two lectures i see you have developed fluency so you know the fluency you know the thing you know a little bit of real aviation from your own experience also you combine all that the guideline should be followed as you learn in the class and then you perform a call you see your calls are so perfect you easily clear the exam okay so the situation i hope i will share the i'm doing it and i'll ask randomly two to three students to give me a call if you have already written the call you will again give me a live call if you have not written the call you'll give me a live call questions so we were talking about one last thing about distress which is the definition i'll discuss it after you ask me a couple of questions about distress ananya questions om questions sita questions sridhar hussain is not here no cool questions rohit is not here suchita so tanmay questions right now your situation is delhi to nagpur via jaipur give yourself a distress situation and give me a live call you can structure the call right now but when we are talking you'll give me the live call okay can everyone hear me perform sir perform sir perform sir perform sir perform victor tango sir i am here perform victor tango sir i am here perform victor tango romeo alpha nando perform victor tango oscar mike goal okay then why do you think all 13 stations gave me a response i didn't count what do you think sir uh, it wasn't all 13 but uh, some of them i couldn't recognize because they didn't end video call sign that is fine i am asking you about number how many number of people responded do you think sir even i don't have a count but you don't think it's 13 okay thank you okay students koi bacha hai kya it means is there anybody left to do it okay fine I hope you can see the screen. Ready with your situations? Anyone who's not ready? Any doubts? Karishma, are you aware? Have you understood so far? Distress. You might not have. I'm not sure if you have covered that much of RT, but right now, as we are discussing, do you think you are getting it? Affirm, sir. Very good. I'm giving you one more minute.
okay remember the key points of the call the call structure the first part is addressing second part is condition condition generally will be the situation that you are giving yourself then will be intention after intention we have additional information additional information would mean other information about your position that you have not yet reported in the first part of your call and uh, passenger on board type of aircraft what are you doing what is your flight plan things like that sometimes we also use things like endurance so the first person to take this call i'm going to take the call sign you have to make sure the call is perfect so don't jump to give the call directly when your name is taken you explain the situation make sure while you are explaining the situation as in the question you can just make a question give this to the entire class me of course and then you say i'm transmitting my call and then you transmit your call and when the call is happening will simulate a real experience will not interfere the person giving the call will stay on unmute till the time the call is over be alert okay instructions clear everyone affirm oh, sir Victor Tango November Kilo Charlie. Chalo, let's do it. Victor Tango, Sierra Kilo Yankee. And I forgot to tell you all, we all have a timer of three minutes. So, question is: one zero zero DMA in Bond Jaipur, low fuel indication plus aircraft lost. Take action. Mm -hmm. I have understood the situation. Interesting. Transmitting question. Mm -hmm. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Delhi control. One, 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 zero. Aircraft lost and low on fuel. Overhead Ikaba in the vicinity of whiskey one three south previous estimates jaipur one one two zero until one one two five Bhopal one two zero zero ETA Nagpur one two zero flight level three one zero endurance zero zero four five request radar vectoring and immediate descent nearest aerodrome hmm. very good call Tanmay mm. previous estimates you can avoid saying previous estimates um, follow the structure of the call condition 
is followed by intention. A little bit of position flight level root hint can be given when you say where you were or your last known position. Then say your intent. Your intent should be immediate descent and diversion or maybe immediate descent and making an emergency landing at Jaipur itself. Because you are 100 DM in Jaipur, you will try to go to Jaipur only. Uh, but you don't know where you were, your last known position was 100 DM in Jaipur. So you can say I'm lost, need radar vectoring and setting course for Jaipur, immediate descent and emergency landing at Jaipur. Why? Because you are low on fuel. Understand. Good thing you said radar vectoring because you are lost. Good thing you said Mayday. It was a Mayday situation when you are lost and you don't have fuel also. Good thing you realized you have communications. You handled the call with good maturity, I would say. Something that is going to come in handy. But at the same time, if there is an examiner who is expecting a little more from the student, he might think that you are not giving your best. You are just being a little lazy or a little angry probably that you are not clearing RT. Just a thing that could go on. So why give that 1% of element of doubt also to the examiner? Either give a perfect call or have that particular thing in your call. That I call is a little bit of extra energy. That you are happy to be here. You are happy to fly this aircraft. Right? But if you do what you have done in this call, you are ready to clear the exam. So keep it up. Work on the feedback that I've given you. With respect to the feedback, if I have to restructure the call, I'll give the call like this. Okay. Today I'm writing it in notebook. If you'll want to see, I'll give you all a picture or just I'm not giving you all a picture. Just write it down that I'm transmitting. So 100 DME inbound Jaipur. I'll assume I have reached my cruising altitude, which I would assume to be flight level 310. If I, if you think I'm going a little fast with my rate of speech, you can let me know about it. And you can also assess the call like I assess the call in R marks. When you think about assessing a call, it increases your understanding. We are on Whiskey 13 South. Tanmay, any questions on this call? It was a good call. I gave you all the things that we could further improve. It doesn't mean it wasn't a good call. I hope you understand. No problem, sir. Are you okay? Feeling good? How's your health? All good, sir. Now that's the energy. That's the energy I'm talking about. Very good. Sense it and try to recreate it in your calls. Summer job mein kya baat karo. It will really work in your favor. I think you have said that you have reduced the energy. You have reduced the energy. You have reduced the energy. You have reduced the Timing is also good. And I hope you all are giving live call students. I think this is this is lecture 10, right, students? Or is this lecture 9 of these series? Can someone confirm? Lecture 9 or Vikka Tango Papa Runa Tango. Okay. Sorry, I think it's lecture 10. It's lecture 10, right? I think, yeah, 10. I wrongly named it. Sorry. I got confused, you know. Koi baat nahi? Okay. Uh, you cannot see the screen, right? I'll show you the screen. I'll take a live call. I'll show you how it is to be perfectly done. Sanmay's call was also good. We follow the protocols in a way that we show that we are following that in a call. So in Tanmay's call, what I could not see was the intent coming in too soon. Okay. 
And see, I'm being very harsh right now. That performance will help him clear the exam because the call was perfect. It was very clean. All art techniques followed. Okay. Structuring was not that not that bad. It was good. All protocols were followed. No silly mistakes made. If any clearance would have been given, the response and the acknowledgement would have decided how much overall the score would be on this particular question. But as per this, out of 10, if it's a sub question out of 10, I think you'll easily get seven and eight. Okay. Out of 20, 16, easily 15, 16, easily to be scored. Okay. I'm just taking the call and the data could be a little. Okay. I'll open the charts here. One minute. Okay. So whiskey one three south, it flies out of Delhi via radial to one three. Whiskey one three south. Then you have Ikaba, a waypoint. Ikaba is on the CTA of Jaipur. Jaipur has tower CTR and approach CTA. So I'd be making my transit clearance requests before I reach Ikaba. Then 100 DME inbound. Approximately, it's the CTA only over Ikaba only a little before Ikaba. I hope everybody is looking at the chat. Okay, I'm I'm checking it on my phone because I'm doing the call hub. So I'll just show you once more. See, you can do the dual screen here. See, radial two one three, flying out of Delhi. Whiskey 13 South, Ikaba. Ikaba is on the second dotted circle. That is CTA. The first is CTR. Inbound radial Jaipur becomes 033. From here, my Nagpur flight could be via Intel Bavox. Sajurao to Nagpur also. Via Intel Bavox to Buklo, Bhopal and Nagpur also. Or via Jaipur, Irola, Bodar and then Nagpur also. Depending upon what you have chosen in your flight plan. Right now, I'm going to assume that I would be flying via Jaipur. From Jaipur, I'll be flying Bavox. From Bavox, Bhopal. And from Bhopal to Nagpur. That's my flight. So, flight route. Whiskey 13 South. And okay. Lima 33. And Whiskey... I'll take Whiskey 20 South. So, that Whiskey 20 South will be over Intel, not over Bavox. So whiskey one three south, Lima three three, whiskey two zero south, and then whiskey three eight. Gas yeah, station calling. Go ahead. Oh uh, sir, uh, I was saying yeah, that's only because uh, you said Bevox then Bhopal, so it's a whiskey two zero northbound route. Yeah, we fixed that. Don't yeah. worry. You might be yeah. given the northbound route to fly south. Also, students do not be that worried about it. If the ADC and the flight plan has been cleared for a northbound route for you to fly, you can do that as well if the clearances are given. So please be on the open mind. If I am you to Bavox and 20 follow But right now I have corrected it. We will go over Intel only because of the simulation that I want to do right now. So this is the route. So good point. Tanmay was showing that sir, two zero south hum leke jayenge na preferably. So preferably, yeah, you prefer the south in the southbound routes. Going flying south, southbound route. Yeah, that's what you'll do preferably. So that's it. A rough call. Okay. Either's call. Should be on the lookout. Okay. I'm just showing you all a similar call to this Tanmay's call, how to differentiate, how to vary, how to combine. Now, as I write this, I remind myself that I have to construct the call in my mind first. Otherwise, I'll make a couple of errors. So the one error that I always make in my calls is I don't remember to specify the time. So right now, when I think about it, I can specify the time. That's the benefit of 
thinking the call in mind before giving it. मेरे 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 डेली कंट्रोल विक्टर टैंगो अल्फा ब्रेवो चार्ली लो फ्यूल एयरक्राफ्ट लॉस्ट अनेबल टू डिटरमाइन पोजीशन last known position 100 dme inbound jaipur whiskey 13 south 0 correction radial 033 inbound request radar vectoring and immediate descend to set course for jaipur request emergency landing at jaipur aircraft boeing 737 passenger on board 119er endurance 0045 students in this call flight level has to be added if the examiner has not said go to the next question if you are thinking you realized then you can just add flight level 310 if you have missed something and if you still have time okay looks like a simple call looks like a lengthy call while doing it while making it but you don't judge yourself you go with the flow you do what is needed and then you analyze the call addressing done condition done intent along with condition last position was given and then quickly intent was given a little bit hint about intent so they can start tracking maybe on radar or something radar vectoring is a procedure is a term to the procedure where your aircraft will be tracked on the radar and as per the radar they will give you the directions to fly and follow and then additional info was given whatever this call can be perfected in much much better ways different pilots different people will give it in their own way some might sound much better some might sound little less professional but all should sound correct and all should carry the same message same distress emergency within you can increase your energy levels you can increase the simulation that you feel and a lot of things can also go in this call other than these but these are the basic things if you use if you make your call so clean here correction was said direct radial was said essentially when you say correction you say the last word again and then you say the correct word here it was not seeming applicable because the last word was a different set so that could be for someone to find technical flaws they can always come up with those flaws but that is not a flaw in this case for you if you use correction so you get a lot of leeway when you perform in the rt exam although you think these are difficult exams ask those students who have cleared in their first attempts they'll say it was difficult but it happened i cleared it 
So how is it difficult and you still clear it? Because you get that leeway in between that nobody feels confident about. You get that leeway when your basics are strong, when your calls are perfect, when you don't make silly errors. Sometimes the silly error could be with respect to structuring. Other than that, most of the times the silly error is with respect to this basic language, which I think everybody has perfected by now. Other basic mistakes are they're not reading the flight plan, not using urgency distress or other codes, calling the wrong ATC, not using the call sign. Then again, these are the, the final things. If you avoid all these things, it becomes so good that if you're able to solve the paper, you'll clear it. Even if you're not able to solve the paper, first three questions, if you do good, you can still clear. But if you have made errors, errors like you have a distress situation, but you have not made a distress call. So you're losing 10 marks. You required, you had to take some intent. You didn't mention your intent. Probably you'll lose 10 marks. So that way out of three, if you're not doing half of the thing correct, you only get 30. Out of three, if you want to score, if the first three, you need to get 40 and above out of 60. In the worst case scenario, the time could be an issue, right? So be very careful, okay? Any questions? Points to add, points to deduct, whatever you want to feel like. Quick. It has to be an interactive session, students. Come on. Feel like punching y'all. If you don't interact. Mental punches, you know. Uh, kya bol rahe Shridhar, yeah. what's your feedback? Nukul, Suchita, stand by. Shridhar, what's the feedback? Sir, good call. Um... I mean, what's the feedback from you as in, have you understood distress situation? Have you yes, understood sir. how to structure call? Aapka yes, kya situation tha, aapka kya call tha? Tell me quickly. So my question was, uh, rapid decompression over Pratapgarh, take action. So my call was... Give me a live call. Okay. Mede, Mede, Mede. Ahmedabad Control. Spicejet 789er over Pratapgarh. Flight level... 210 Alpha 474 experiencing rapid decompression due to structural damage to aircraft's window. Aircraft difficult to maneuver. Request immediate descent to flight level 10 and Emergency landing at Ahmedabad. Also, medical services on arrival. Aircraft Boeing 737 Heavy, Delhi to Nagpur. IFR passenger on board 150. Very good call, Sridhar. Flight level 10, flight level 100, Tashay. Um, yes, sir. Haan, hai. second time call liya, wo likh rahe the, ya likh rahe the, ya sif pad rahe the? Sir, I already made the call, but second time uh, I was writing and then tick tick tick. Kafi fast tha, good. Thoda slow karo usko. Okay, go a little slow. Kya route se ja rahe the ab? Alpha four seven four and then uh, golf. 472 towards Nagpur. So you're changing routes where? Both are. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was a fast call, but it was Send me a picture of your call, okay? Okay, okay Suchita, go ahead with your question. Sir, uh, if any um, distress situation exists wherein we have to... Um, do emergency landing on the runway or we are close in, in the close vicinity of the aerodrome. So if you want the ATC to uh, vacate the runway, how will we make that request? 
we can say like this uh, request or uh, like request to disembark all passengers on runway and uh, all traffic maybe See, think about it what would passengers be doing on a runway passengers would not be idle on the runway you think what would be on the runway probably an aircraft landing or an aircraft ready to take off other than that the runway will never be occupied if for some reason a vehicle is crossing the runway another aircraft is crossing the runway that will be momentary and the runway will again be cleared so for you to get the runway cleared would generally be when there are aircrafts lined up for departure or you just want the active runway to not handle any traffic so that the runway can be given to you generally pilots don't choose the runway when pilots are guided to an airfield the runway is already cleared for them which runway is cleared for them will be assigned by their traffic controllers in the rare case scenario where you are able to see the runways you know more about the airfield than the air traffic controllers or you are aware about something that you think will be safer for you in that situation that okay if you are required to take runway 27 and then you say no i don't want runway 27 i want runway 32 they'll say why the winds are preferable everything is preferable for runway 27 there is a reason they are assigning because they have the weather report that this is the best runway with respect to the situation you like no i am unable to control the aircraft i am unable to man man maneuver the aircraft i am being ditching i am cannot turn that hard the runway 32 is much more closer to me then they'll tell you okay what about the crosswind component can you handle it or not you'll be like okay i'll try to make a crosswind landing so you'll protect yourself and if you are reducing one threat another threat will arise in that case okay so you will have to be mentally prepared to take that decision because these are split second things when you talk about an rt call where you get a specific question where your runway is occupied and you want to make an emergency landing the call becomes very simple the call becomes probably if it's an emergency landing an aircraft head on it is like that if you're on finals you're in the vicinity it will be a made a call made a made a made a mumbai tower uh, victor tango i wanted to say air india but i said victor tango no fillers allowed like i said disregard i'll start again made a made a made a mumbai tower victor tango alpha lima kilo long finals runway 32 emergency landing at mumbai due low fuel see another aircraft on runway 27 request you to get the runway cleared Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Charlie force landing straight ahead runway 27 see another aircraft head on unable to control altitude or speed request getting runway 27 cleared of aircraft two wise you would say the same thing again and again and if you are doubting there is rcf then you will also to turn the landing lights on and off since the calls are simple if you cannot construct get the runway cleared like you see i showed you one simulation where struggle could be with respect to con, uh, con, constructing a sentence here so what you could do is lined up or sorry not lined up you could say on long finals runway 27 see another aircraft unable to land on runway 27 aircraft low on fuel losing altitude request for the instructions i say again unable to land runway 27 due aircraft on runway 27 aircraft losing altitude unable to maintain speed request for the instructions of course this would start with made a made a made so and so tower so and so aircraft two possibilities what would you do as a pilot i would try to not collide into that aircraft then i have another challenge my first challenge was just to keep my aircraft safe now my another challenge is to keep the other aircraft safe also i'll try my best to avoid that and then put the aircraft down again i might if even if i'm put able to land the aircraft i'd overshoot then in that case such errors are due to human error if there was an emergency aircraft the runway should have been cleared what is that aircraft doing on that runway that pilot or that atc some of them is responsible right now either they are disoriented or you are disoriented or the atc is disoriented and actually such issues have happened in the past that have cost a lot of lives 
So good question. Easy solution. I explained you all the entire situation, gave you a couple of more situations and gave you two different type of calls. Actually, three different type of calls. If you think I was too fast, you can always replay this and replay it at a slower speed and go through this again. If you think the call is not perfect, you can check with me, discuss with me. We can always perfect it in the way it makes more sense to you. I can always restructure my calls and make them more perfect, less perfect, structure to your needs. Anything is possible. As long as the basic is maintained, everything is fine. It's not a it's not a NASA exam where you have to give accurate answers everywhere. This is more like art. To deeper for aviation students, a cavalry. They're like, our aircraft's not painted. <laughs> so yeah. Any more questions? Sir, could you please repeat the question for low fuel aircraft and loss? Sorry, I cannot. Just say the answer, Pucho. No, cool. I just send my invitation. Come on, help your friend, help your colleague, help your fellow pilot. Jaldi jaldi karo. The question was 100 DME. In Mount Jaipur. It's enough fast to my brother. Communicate Kareo. Kaye, Kasa Kasa Likaka Quintan just already missed Kaye. Huh? Pale to with the fast bowl, they get low miss Karea, Bibita fast bowl reo. Politician, okay, can get a chess at Donos to help Kuru. A nuclear Kaye, it's not it's their bad bowl reo. Message pitch or then a chain of it. कोई बात नहीं अच्छा पूछा तन में फटाफट दो यार कॉल क्वेश्चन विक्टर डंगो नवंबर किलो चाली आई से अगेन विक्टर डंगो सियारा किलो यंकी द क्वेश्चन वाज 100 डीएमए इनबाउंड जयपुर लो फ्यूल इंडिकेशन एंड एयरक्राफ्ट लॉस्ट टेक एक्शन Victor Tango November Kilo Charlie, please acknowledge whether the question is noted. Victor Tango Sierra Kilo Yankee. Victor Tango Sierra Kilo Yankee. Victor Tango Sierra Kilo Yankee. Victor Tango, November, Kilo Chali, Roger. Okay, Nukul, who starts call sign se kaun shuru karta hai? You should have said, na, station calling Victor Tango, November, Kilo Chali, say again, call sign. Hmm? Come, sir. Yeah, be careful, students. This is practice. You don't do it, you practice. Okay, Ananya, what is your situation, urgency? Explain your situation. Victor Angle Alpha Number Papa. Over Jaipur, your co pilot is hurt due to bird head. Mm -hmm. Have you made a call? Were you able to make a call? I tried. Good. Send me a picture of your call. Sure, sir. Nishant. Nishant, I didn't get a chance to greet you, I guess. Belated good morning and welcome. I hope you're having fun. I hope you're picking up things. Pratik, what are you doing? What are you doing? What situation are you doing? Sir, the Nishant, are you there? RCF, okay? Yeah, yeah Nishant, I'm talking to you. How are you? What's happening? I'm good, sir. I'm trying to like make out what is happening and like making notes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.
Chaitanya, how is it going? Are you able to make sense? Eventually, you have to do these things. How much of it is a bouncer? How much of it is actually making sense to you? Chaitanya, even the other day in your live class, I could not hear you. Are you there? Charlie Bravo Alpha. No. Mm -hmm. Charlie Bravo Alpha. Sridhar, what was your situation? Was Your situ situation was rapid decompression, right? Affirm. With that, I'm going to see Good, good, good. Nukul, what was your situation? So my situation is primary control rudder is stuck. Take action. Hmm. What is your call? Read it out. Uh, so my call is Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. But where is this happening? Where is this happening? Uh, sir, is happening. 25 DME inbound Bhopal, uh, flight level 320, uh -huh. radial 342. Correct, correct. What's your flight level? Flight level 320. Very good. Okay, your call. Just read it out. Don't have to give live. Mayday, 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 Nagpur control. Victor Tango November Kilo Charlie. A primary control rudder is stuck. Request emergency landing at Bhopal. 30 DME inbound. Oh, sorry. Correction. 25 DME inbound Bhopal. Radial 342. Whiskey two zero south flight level three two zero IFR Delhi to Nagpur Boeing seven three seven moderate. Hmm. Descend. Descending manga hamne. Descend magna aircraft difficult to control. Aircraft cannot yaw. Siv roll pe chal rahi hai. And rudder struck hai, to rudder kaun se point pe struck hai. If it's stuck at zero degrees, then it's it's not that going to be difficult. If it's stuck in one way, then the aircraft is going to be moving in one way all the time, induce extra stress. Mm -hmm. So much is there to think about. A very good call. Descent mention kar lo, aircraft difficult to control mention kar lo. Baag is a baad acha hai. And request instructions to set course to Bhopal bhi hum bol sakte hai. Whenever you are planning to land to an aerodrome, where you have not planned to land, but you can still control the aircraft, request instructions to set course to emergency for emergency landing light. Passengers sick and all. Your aircraft cannot move right and left. Your cannot be done for some time. Rudder is stuck. Why? We don't know. You will be going through a checklist. We'll try to fix the issue as per the checklist. But immediate descent for an emergency landing at Bhopal is the right choice to do. Why? Because if one control is stuck, it could be a problem with hydraulics. More controls could be stuck. It could be a problem with the engine in the end also. You don't want to risk it. So it's a good decision. Good call overall. Sorry, nahi bola. Correction bola. Even when you're reading, try to use RT words. Send me a picture of your call. Yes, sir. Uh, one question. Uh, whenever we mention in distress call, like a force landing. So is that meaning to we are landing over the ground? ground area force landing means aircraft is still level but you cannot control the altitude you are forced to land so you're trying to make the best by trying to land the aircraft wherever it is being forced to land you are not always lucky to get a open area ground area sometimes you get buildings mountains rivers everything is unsafe only a uh, plane land area is safe that too the ground will be so soft that your landing gear will get stuck and the aircraft can always break so force landing is not really a type of landing students it's just that the aircraft is straight and level till the moment it's gonna hit the ground 
and you are thinking you are able to land the aircraft whether the aircraft will land or not or whether it will crash is the second thing but that's what force landing actually means okay affirm sir चलो गुड प्रेरित तुम्हारा क्या था सिचुएशन क्वेश्चन जल्दी समझाओ सर आई एम एट जीरो डीएमई इनबाउंड जयपुर गॉड बर्थ हेड लॉस्ट कंट्रोल ऑन बोथ इंजन कॉल बनाया आपने फ्रॉम सर रीड इट आउट मेडे 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 डेली कंट्रोल ऑन वन टू फोर डेसिमल फाइव फाइव Victor Tango, Papa Romeo Tango, one four one five, got bird hit, lost control on both engines, aircraft losing altitude rapidly, eight zero DME inbound Jaipur, whiskey one three south, radial zero three three, request descent and force landing straight ahead Jaipur, also medical services on arrival, flight level one zero zero. Aircraft Boeing seven four seven modulate passengers on board one two zero. Uh, good imagination, Prerit. Uh, very realistic situation. Um, aircraft losing altitude, and then we are requesting descent. The both things are not going in hand together. But good thought. Now we make it much more logical. Post landing straight ahead from flight level one hundred. um i would say here you'd say losing altitude passing this for that you can mention your rate of descent which could be 1000 feet per minute or more maybe more so you analyze how much time you have right now and you could say would attempt to make an emergency landing at your i think i think one of the aerodromes was very close to you right 25 dm 30 dm somewhere jaipur or wherever you were So you try to say would like to make uh, intending to make emergency landing at that aerodrome, losing altitude rapidly, unable to control. So far, that would be your intent. Then, when you are at closer altitudes or lower altitudes to landing, then you could say force landing straight ahead. Think about this also, students. When you take the call, we understand the little differences. You'll always be like, okay, sir, wow, that is good. I'm getting to know how I could brush up and. perfect my call even better and better and better there's no stop to it students eventually it gets perfect in your own original way that's how you master rt you don't ratify things and copy my patterns and that's how the training is of course copy my patterns to perfect your patterns but then in the end the calls that you'll give and the exam that you'll clear you will see the pattern is the way i've taught you but it has your original trademark to it good Good, good, good. So, Chitta, your situation? Bomb threat warning. Six zero DME inbound Jaipur. Where is the aircraft? Six. What's the flight level? The flight level two seven zero. Okay. Read out your call quickly. Yes, sir. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Delhi Control. Victor Tango Sierra Sierra Mike. One one three zero. Received bomb threat warning. Would like to make an emergency landing back at Delhi. Request instructions to set post to Delhi and request Dumbul to disembark passengers. Request firefighting services on arrival. Radial two one three, whiskey one three south, flight level two seven zero, passenger on board one zero zero, Boeing seven three seven heavy, IFR Delhi to Nagpur. A good call, Sushita. Very nice call, but Sushita, I am not getting the urgency here. Um, I am not getting the distress feeling. Why go to Delhi when Jaipur is so close? very good of use a uh, very good use of dumbbell to disembark passengers but you did not request for bomb disposal squad emphasis was good on the call but the emphasis didn't sound like it was a real emergency of course you were reading but we can try to include that in our calls um this call i could say mayday 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 delhi control 
Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Charlie, 60 DME inbound Jaipur, flight level 270, received a bomb threat. Request immediate descent and instructions to set course to Jaipur for an emergency landing. Request dumbbell area and instructions to disembark passengers and bomb disposal squad on arrival. Passengers on board 112, IFR Delhi to Nagpur. Aircraft Boeing 737. I say again, bomb threat. Request immediate descent and emergency landing at Jaipur. This is how I would take that call. In being in real time, just with the memory, if I structure it in my mind once again, and if I think about RT and all, maybe a couple of things I would add or change. But I don't feel the need to do so because my exam is going to be live. This is how I'm going to perform live. So the difference is not much. The call is perfect. But sometimes it can be in the way we are understanding and doing it because this is foolproof now. Okay. Getting it, Suchita? Hear this a call. Compare this call with yours. Polish your call. Use your techniques. Use these fundamentals. Combine and give, give me a perfect call. All right. Awesome. Work on that in the next session. Let's see what your feedback is. Okay. Rani, what was your situation? Thi, badao, badao, badao. Aircraft entered in Spain. And position kya aircraft? Ki? Uh, 3 0 A or DME inbound Jaipur. Flight level? 270. Okay. Muskan, your situation? At flight level 130. Got a bird hit, controls affected, show intent, aircraft 100, DME inbound. Show intent ke baad kya hai? Aircraft 100, DME inbound, Jaipur. Hmm. Thank you. Om, tumhara kya hai situation? Uh, I have a fuel leakage, engine number one failed, uh, and instrument failure over box, flight level 320. Sorry, instrument failure where? Over the box. Flight level? 320. Hmm, fuel leakage and instrument failure. All right, very good. Thank you. Karishma? Did you think of any situation where you're able to make? If yes, then share. Krishma, read you to drop me a chat message on Zoom. Muskan, what's on your mind? Share. Sir, I would like to give a call. Okay, stand by. Standing by. Victor Tango, Mike Sierra Lima. Pratik has given me the situation. Bad weather ahead over Gudum. Everybody check this, okay? And negative contact with ADC, take action. It's not a distress call, Pratik. It's a urgency call. Weather deviation on your own. Pratik, are you there? Hmm. But good thinking. It can anytime convert into a medical. call. Okay, Muskan, we are short on time, but of course, we have time for your call. Go ahead. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Are you giving me live or are you reading it? Reading it, sir. Okay. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. 
Delhi Control, Air India Niner One Niner. When I said Pura, I meant up live call. Do no jam. Sure, sir. Hmm. So short bolne ke baad bhi read kyu kar rahe ho? Live chhe live. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Delhi Control, Air India Niner One Niner. On one two four decimal five five one one three zero, got a bird hit. Primary control affected. Losing altitude rapidly. Would like to do force landing. Threat ahead. Request firefighter services. Emergency medical services. Passing flight level one three zero. Alpha four seven four. Radial zero three three one zero zero. DME. Inbound Jaipur. Estimating Ikaba one one three five. Passengers on board one two zero. Endurance zero three three zero. IFR Delhi to Nagpur. Aircraft Boeing. Seven three seven heavy. Muskan, a good call. Send me a picture. Hmm. But Muskan, I can't write. Nahi paya. After emergency services, I lost you because emergency services. Tak aap mere se aage chal rahe the. Bolne me, I was writing me. Piche chal raha tha. But mere paas memory thi. बट उसके बाद जब आपने पोजीशन देना शुरू किया मेरी मेमोरी चली गई बिकॉज मैं वो सब मेमोरी में स्टोर नहीं कर पाया बिकॉज वो आदत नहीं है सब कुछ मेमोरी में ऐसे स्टोर करने की तो कॉल तो बहुत अच्छा था बट क्योंकि मैं लिख रहा था लाइव कॉल मैं मेरे हिसाब से सिमुलेट कर रहा हूँ तो मैंने इमरजेंसी मेडिकल सर्विसेज के बाद तो कुछ सुन ही नहीं पाया या जज भी नहीं कर पाया आपने क्या बोला बिकॉज मैं बस ये था कि कब रुकेगी तो मैं उस पायलट को बोलूंगा कि से अगेन आफ्टर इमरजेंसी मेडिकल सर्विसेज के बाद ही मैं रीड बैक दूंगा उसके बाद ही मैं क्लियरेंस दूंगा उसके बाद ही मैं कुछ करूंगा बट रियल लाइफ में ऐसा नहीं होगा रियल लाइफ में कॉल भी थोड़ा छोटा हो जाएगा ये सिचुएशन में एंड अटेंशन आपको मिलेगा बट एग्जाम में हमें यही चीज पे ध्यान रखना है लाइव कर रहे हैं तो फिर हम इतना भी क्यों इतना भी फास्ट भाग रहे हैं क्योंकि हमारा परफॉर्मेंस देख ही नहीं पा रहा So probably I think partially you are writing, partially you are reading, or maybe just you are overwriting or something. I don't know. But a mistake is too fast. Or no mistake, no. Because otherwise, I think the call was very good. So, me ko bejo, me ko dekhna hai call. Me likh nahi paya pura. I hope everybody who has done a call has sent me the call. ओम अपना कॉल जूम चैट पे मत भेजो इतनी मेहनत की है ये बुक में लिखा होना चाहिए और मेरे को उसकी पिक्चर चाहिए आप आपको इतना पता होना चाहिए जब मैं कुछ मांग रहा हूँ तो कहाँ मांग रहा हूँ नोट्स आर सेंट टू मी ओवर वेर वी चैट आई नीड टू सी ऑन द मूव असाइनमेंट्स आर सेंड ओवर ईमेल डाउट्स आर सेंड ओवर चैट बट नोट्स आर इन पी डी एफ ऑफकोर्स और जेपेक जो भी है है ना ऐसा कर दो मुस्कान गुड कॉल बट अर्जेंसी है अर्जेंसी पे ज्यादा ध्यान नहीं है बाकी कुछ है बहुत कुछ हो रहा है कॉल में मेरे 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 डेली कंट्रोल है इंडिया नाइन एट वन नाइन एट वन जीरो जीरो डी एम ई इन बाउंड जयपुर रेडियल जीरो थ्री थ्री फ्लाइट लेवल फ्लाइट लेवल 
वन थ्री जीरो गॉट अ बर्ड हिट कंट्रोल अफेक्टेड डिफिकल्ट टू कंट्रोल दी एयरक्राफ्ट पोजिशन की दो पॉइंट दे दो और फिर कंडीशन इंटेंट बता दो या कंडीशन इंटेंट बता के हमें पोजिशन देना अफकोर्स क्लीन कॉल बेसिक्स आर राइट वी जस्ट वॉन्ट टू पॉलिश इट टू मेक इट साउंड परफेक्ट मेरे 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 डेली कंट्रोल इंडिया वन नाइन वन करेक्शन इंडिया नाइन एर वन नाइन एर गॉड अ बर्ड हिल्ट प्राइमरी कंट्रोल अफेक्टेड एयरक्राफ्ट लूजिंग ऑल्टीट्यूड रैपिडली पोजिशन वन जीरो जीरो डी एम ई इन बाउंड जयपुर फ्लाइट लेवल वन थ्री जीरो रेडियल डी एम ई एंड देन एडिशनल इंफॉर्मेशन दैट्स इट सुनने में आना चाहिए कॉल है वी आर टॉकिंग टू सम The reason you are able to understand what I am teaching is because of the way I am talking, over and above the instructions that I am giving. If I give the instructions as I am just reading out of a paper, tomorrow I will not see any one student in the class. Similarly, RT has a way of talking. We need to include that in our call students. And I'm just going to read it. You're going to do it. I'm just going to say the same thing that I have said. Don't write it. सेम सिचुएशन जो मैंने बोला उसको ध्यान में रख के सिर्फ बात करनी है लिखना नहीं है थिंक यू आर पायलट फ्लाइंग एंड यू आर टॉकिंग टू एटीसी सो यू डोंट हैव टू रियली राइट गिव मी अ कॉल अगेन राइट नाउ ओम कॉल का पिक्चर भेजो मुझे सब लोग कॉल का पिक्चर भेजो जिसके हुए हैं जिसने नहीं दिए हैं ऊपर से वो भी भेज रहे हैं मुझे प्लीज सब लोग या मुस्कान Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Delhi Control, Air India Niner One Niner, on one two four decimal five five one one three zero. Got a bird hit. Primary controls affected. Losing altitude rapidly. Would like. to do force landing straight ahead request fire fighter services emergency medical services passing flight level 130 position alpha 474 radial 033 100 dme inbound Jaipur, estimating Ikaba, one one three five, ETA Nagpur, one three zero zero, passengers on board, one two zero, endurance zero three three zero, IFR Delhi to Nagpur, aircraft. मुस्कान कॉल बहुत अच्छा है मुस्कान ध्यान रखना है एवरीवन प्लीज फोकस इफ यू आर गोइंग टू फोर्स लैंड अहेड इन द विसिनिटी ऑफ जयपुर यू डोंट हैव टू गिव योर एस्टिमेट्स आप नागपुर अब नहीं जा रहे हो आप नागपुर नहीं जा सकते हो आप वहां जा रहे हो आपके पास इमरजेंसी है स्ट्रक्चरल डैमेज है एयरक्राफ्ट ऑल्टीट्यूड भी लूज कर रहे हैं ऑल्टीट्यूड क्यों लूज कर रहा है एयरक्राफ्ट लिफ्ट क्यों नहीं मिल रही एयरक्राफ्ट को बहुत बड़ा इश्यू है कोई तो कंट्रोल सर्फिस के साथ वो हमें अब तक समझ नहीं आया है इंजन है हमारे पास तो हम फोर्स लैंड क्यों कर रहे हैं ऑल्टीट्यूड जा रहा है हमारा तो ऑल्टीट्यूड क्यों जा रहा है लॉस्ट इंजन सस्पेक्टिंग इंजन फेलियर उसके साथ फोर्स लैंडिंग इज फाइन लास्ट नोन पोजिशन इज फाइन एमरजेंसी मेडिकल सर्विस फाइन सर्च एंड रेस्क्यू तक मांग सकते हो बस वहां कॉल खत्म होना है उसका आगे वो सब चाहिए ही नहीं इस कॉल में क्यों दे रहे हो एस्टिमेट से नागपुर जब हम वहां जा ही नहीं रहे वो सबसे अब फर्क ही नहीं पड़ता हमारा एक ही एस्टिमेट है कि मैं ग्राउंड को कब टच करने वाला हूँ और सेफ करने वाला हूँ कि नहीं और मैं अगर इतना क्लोज हूँ जयपुर के तो मैं जयपुर लैंड करने का ट्राई क्यों नहीं कर रहा हूँ ऑल्टीट्यूड लूज कर रहा हूँ एम आई ट्राइंग टू मेक अ लैंडिंग ऑन जयपुर एरोड्रोम एटलीस्ट बाकी पूरा जयपुर इज क्राउडेड लकीली जयपुर एरोड्रोम के पास काफी ओपन एरिया है लकीली दैट कुड वर्क इन अ फेवर In their life, but बाकी estimates and all, be in the situation, students. आप अभी भी 
all of us okay i'm not talking much khan was khan has given an excellent call we know she always gives excellent call but if you have to think about perfecting the call then abhi bhi aapko ek question ka answer hi sooj raha hai still you are thinking you have to give an answer to a question you are trying to include as many correct things as you can this is not a question this is not an answer this is a situation this is the message about that situation the message about that situation given to that atc should be in radio telephony procedures if you don't pass on the message you will not get the help if you don't pass on the message everyone will assume you are going to nagpur the message has to be crystal clear and should have the information needed for them to help you that's it that's what you can include in your call You don't have to include everything in every call. See, with every call, you learn something new, students. Make sure you're collecting everything, soaking it in, making it sink in, and then be ready for your calls. I'll be taking your leave now. Shridhar and other Mumbai session students, message me your dates today. Check with me when is the next session regularly. Uh, Shridhar, I'll surprise you with Sir, the mock. Sir, read you one. Shridhar, how do you read? Radio five, Victor yeah. Tango Sir, I'm on Sir. Be in touch with me, and I'll surprise you with the mock. Of course, I'll check with you first, but then, ask the shayad nii hoga, but kal hoga, but any time be ready. You are ready, so I'll surprise you. Probably at shaam bhi kar sakte hain, subah bhi kar sakte hain. You be ready. जो भी डाउट्स आपके डिस्कस नहीं हुए सारे हाईलाइट कर लो ऑल मुंबई सेशन स्टूडेंट्स ऑल द डाउट्स आर नॉट बीन डिस्कस्ड हाईलाइट देम मैसेज मी एग्जाम डेट्स एंड कीप चेकिंग विद मी अबाउट द नेक्स्ट लाइव स्केड्यूल फॉर आर टिक जान मुझके डेली दो दो मैसेज भेजते रहो बस डू दैट फ्रॉम योर साइट डू दैट इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट यू डू दैट ओके समझ जाओ रेस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स गुड परफॉर्मेंस आई एल बी चेकिंग योर कॉल्स अगैन एंड अगैन विल बी प्रैक्टिसिंग मोर on the sidelines try to finish lecture 13 golf 22 for finishing part 1 you will see you will be quickly ready as of now this is the best strategy whatever extra sessions you need for any particular topic any live session you need you say sir mera pura 0 to last tak rt ka ek do ghante ke session mein samjha sakte ho kya i can try to do that for you all think about it whatever you need you tell you don't have to forcefully accept everything given to you although those things are very good for you still okay instructions given other students joining me for regulations to work i don't know what is the time we have we'll be doing that then so i'll see you then and any more questions you have just let me know over our chat and do send me your calls and students who have not done the calls chetanya nishant karishma couple of more students that have not done the calls at least send me your study notes for today and remember after every live lecture automatically send me a study notes in pdf with your whatever notes you make you all make notes right if you don't make notes say sir no notes made i just heard you and looked at your face i'll be like okay thanks for the update that's what i needed so remember it's all about the updates it's not about manufacturing high end notes all right anything before i go anyone happy smiling sad angry test whatever it is believe that you have the license in your hand and you're sending me that picture for my wall of fame feel the joy those pictures if i'll share with you i'll be like sir sare students kitna chamak raha hai and it's the sign of success All right imagine that students you have the license like sir aa gaya mera license i'm like yes that pink color little booklet it's pink it's it's the color for good things take care students i'll see you later bye, bye sir thank bye you sir okay.